Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome. This episode of the new Castle Career Mode is gonna be a bit different because a lot of changes are coming in in this one, which you might have not expected. But my comments down below have helped me out big time to understand a few things. So be excited. Let's get straight into it. I have looked up the financial fair play rules and they have apparently been suspended for the year of 2020, 2021. So Newcastle's owners are finally free of the financial fair play rules. People that have billions and billions of dollars now are free to spend whatever they want to. So guys, here it is. Here I have set up some new rules for this season. We have gotten a boosted budget. We were at 28 million. Now we are at 100 million to spend. Here are the rules though. We're not going to be completely open to spend however much we want to. 100 million from now to January. If we are in the top six until January, we get another 100 million from our billionaire owners. The oil shakes are going to be going ahead and giving us even more money if we do show some success. So, as the financial fair play rules are suspended for 2020, 2021, we are going ahead and spending more money now. We are allowed to do whatever we want. And this is a real life thing. I actually looked it up. So if Newcastle's takeover actually happens, do you understand what's going to happen in the next season with Newcastle? I can genuinely see them go out there and buy Mbappe. I'm not even kidding, guys. The financial fair play rules have been lifted for the next season. So we are ready to go. We are going to be spending big in this episode and we are free of any restrictions. I'm excited and I hope you are as well. Make sure to smash that like button if you are excited. Last episode, we got over 3,300 likes. Over 30,000 people came in to see the, see the comeback on the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. Now though, let's have some fun, boys. Let's get right into it. Starting it off though with the fan objectives. Three fan objectives have been set up. Min or Ma. <laughs> yes, the best freaking objective name because I always say Sa Maximin or Sa Maxima. And here it is. Get 20 goal contributions with Sa Maxima. That's the right pronunciation. Uh, two out of 20 is already done in the Premier League right now. He has gotten a goal and an assist in one of these games that we played. And Ben Ratter, as we love to call him an ultimate team, get 30 goal contributions with Ben Yedder. He's currently on one out of 30. Like father, like son, score eight goals with Alan Shearer's son is something that we have to do. And now we need three more. Let me know in the comments down below about three more. I've been looking through the comments, some really good ones, but I wanted to give you guys opportunities to again put in fan objectives. So hashtag fan objectives and let's get your fan objectives involved as well maybe you want to wait until you see which signings we make in this episode but 100 first of all we need to sort out that center back position also the new mods um the, the mods that i have right now with the new update of fifa they don't kind of work the kits are the only things that are working right now so we're also kind of free of any restrictions when it comes to us going ahead and uh bringing in transfers because with the mods they used to cost a lot now we can actually spend however we want to <laughs> nice coincidence isn't it first player i want to sign is a premier league player chalar soyunju or soyunju as you call it in turkish 38 million is his value at the moment i don't care i want the best of the best so we are going straight in for chalar soyunju and hopefully we can sign him instantly this man has a really nice haircut it looks like i am slowly approaching his haircut so uh yeah we are probably going to be looking like him anytime soon 38 million we will probably have to spend between 48 to 72 but you know what i want to do it because i know this guy is going to be worth it and we haven't used him in any of our career modes in fifa 20 yet so it is time to bring in one of the best center backs in the premier league this last season leicester city soyunju who i would love to bring in especially due to the fact that we normally struggle a lot against this team so how about 45 million ah they're probably really unhappy with that how about 48 million okay that's what we're going to offer them with a sell-on clause of 10 percent 11 why not 11 let's go 11 they want 67. Hmm. 
Now, we are free of restrictions, and this centre-back position is very important for us. So, 55 million is going to be offered to Leicester City. We are still wanting 67. How about 62? I'm trying my best to not spend a huge amount, but it is going to be a massive improvement into our team if we do manage to get him. 62 million for Chalar Soyuncu. And they have accepted. Let's go. The financial fair play rules are gone. Newcastle is free. And we are doing it. Now, also, there's a comment right here about the financial fair play rules. It says, I've said this so many times. The current weekly wages is the total of wages the players and the team all together have and the transfer budget. And guys, I am aware of this. You do know that I've been playing FIFA since FIFA 98. And I've been making FIFA content on YouTube since FIFA 13. Hopefully, you do know that. At the beginning of the series, I have said that do, uh, in order to have some sort of financial fair play rules, on top of the weekly wages that we are already paying, I'm going to have the same amount of the weekly wages displayed right here in the current split as well to kind of keep us in check with the financial fair play rules because there's no easy way to implement them into the series. So that is what I have done in order to kind of go with the financial fair play rules. But you know what? This season, we don't have that anymore. So we can adjust it if needed, I just realized. So um, yeah, that is a possibility to change this season. But next season, that rule is going to be back once again, just like uh, it used to be in the past. So just so you guys know. Also, another one another one coming in from Nikos Vitalis. He said, Johnny, what are you talking about? This was supposed to be a takeover of Newcastle with the new owners and all. Just use the mod and give the team more money. And that's exactly what I've done. So we have gotten rid of the financial fair play rules for this season, but they have given us some rules themselves. They want us to get top six, and then we get to spend another 100 million in the January January transfer window. Right now, we have been allocated a budget of 100 million. So just so you guys know. Also, huge shout out to Tahmidul Omi, who actually said, Johnny, the FFP, FFP rules have been suspended for the 2021 season. You don't need to consider FFP rules. Thank you to you, my man. You have completely freed us up of any restrictions. And I love to see it because I'm now hyped to get Soyunju. He won 63k on his wages. Fine with me, mate. We have money on top of money. It is not going to be a tough thing for us to do. Crucial first team player, Chalar Soyunju, who is one of the best defenders in the Premier League, has replaced Harry Maguire to perfection, has now joined Newcastle United and is going to improve the team massively by taking over Salisu's position 85 rated, my friends. That is a massive, massive signing for Newcastle United. Four star week for three star skill moves. He has 69 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, 92 aggression, 84 composure, 88 interceptions, good stamina, great strength, and then going along with that, 94 defensive awareness. Short passing seems very good. Shot power, surprisingly, very good. Slide and stand tackle is very good as well. And he's only 24 years old. That is the type of center back I want in my team. Fabian Scher is going to be playing alongside him up until January. And then after that, we might have to make a decision for the rest of the squad. But we still have millions to spend. And we're still looking to improve the team. So we were looking for players off the bench. And... Um, I'm thinking we need another center midfielder off the bench. That is one thing we need. And we also need Almiron to come back from his injury. As a backup for midfield, there was a comment that suggested Douglas Luiz. It is from the Alpha Wolf. He has come in with 217 likes on his comment. Thank you very much for that comment, my man. Douglas Luiz was the name that stood out to me. He is 22 years old at the moment. And we're going to try and sign this man into the squad. Another player that just has that real face as well. Beautiful haircut. So we're going to try and bring this man into the team as a backup for our midfielders. Douglas Luiz, let's sign you up, my friend. And potentially someone to replace Sansa if Sanson doesn't grow so we can bring him in if necessary Douglas Luiz let's see what we have to spend on him I'm kind of confused on this case obviously because I have no idea what he's actually worth at the moment so I'm going to be offering them 20 do, do I offer 20 million I think I do so we're going to be offering that deal here we go 20 million offered for him and they've accepted straight away oops did I just offer too much I might have offered too much Ah, uh, you know what? We're rich. We're rich, man. All good. All fine. We are accepting four years with no release clause. And in terms of his wages, again, no clue really. But he's playing at Aston Villa. So we're going to offer him 40k. See what happens. Hopefully he accepts it. Douglas Luiz is happy. Douglas Luiz is joining 
Newcastle United as a massive backup for the midfield position. Very happy with that signing. Let's see how he looks in game. 77 rated, worth 11 million. So I did make a mistake there in paying a little bit too much, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to take off Everett for now. Everett, you are the future, but you're not the present right now. We are bringing in Douglas Luiz, 22 years old. Two star week for three star skill moves. 76 pace. Looking quite decent in terms of pace. Really good reactions. Um, really good agility and balance, which I love. Good aggression as well. A good stamina. Um, long passing, long shots, short passing, shot power, ball control. Everything looking very good. And he has the finesse shot. That I do like a lot. So I'm excited to bring in Douglas Luiz into the team, guys. And also, I've just realized that there was a little issue with the budget right here. It kind of reset to 100 million after we spent our money. So I spent how much? I spent 40 something on uh, Soyunju. No, I spent more than 40. I spent 62 million on him. And now 20 million on this guy. That puts us down to 18 million left. So I'm going to adjust the budget and make it uh, the one that it should have been right now. So Douglas Luis has taken his position. Very happy with that. And also we have brought in Soyunju, which is improving our team massively. Acuna, obviously a great signing this season. Soyunju as well now. And I think next up, we might have to focus on bringing in a new goalkeeper. Someone that is um, has, that has a bright future instead of Dubravka. We currently have 18 million in the budget left. But um, we might not be able to change anything immediately. So let's play against West Ham. As I said, we have to get into the top six to get additional money. So right now we are in the top six because we won our first game. But that doesn't mean anything. West Ham is the first place team, won their first game 4-0. Let's see what we can do. So to showcase our new kits, I'm going to play in the blue one. And, new, and uh, West Ham is going to be playing in their away kit. Let me show you these beautiful kits, man. They might just be the best ones we have had so far. I feel so good to be completely freed of the financial restrictions right now. And just to be given objectives to go after by the owners who say, hey, you get top six, you get more money. And then in January, we can go ahead and upgrade our goalkeeping position. We can upgrade our right back position and improve it. Uh, we have a lot of things to do here, but obviously we'll also still focus on the youth academy and such that we have going on. But right now, guys, we're going to be stepping in here and trying our best with Newcastle and their new beautiful kits. Hopefully a good game to come in now. Let's see. Where are my new players? So, Soyunju has those black shoes. Good to see. Akuna, by the way. Akunya, I should say. Has them the green ones, which I really like. And then later on, we can see Douglas Luiz subbed in. But obviously, if we can start off very nicely here, that would be very much appreciated. Ben Yedder is in with full stamina and he gets us a free kick. Which Ennis Bardi obviously freaking loves. Come on, Ennis. Come on, Ennis. We can do this, man. Ennis. Oh, he hits the wall. Brings it back. Uh, he's standing back up, though, and he's lost it. Would have been great to start off with a free kick goal, huh? But at least we started off into the season with three points. A massive comeback against Leicester City. And so Yunju straight away getting involved. Ben Yedder. Great run. He goes... Ah, the pass should have come across to Ennis Bardi. Ennis isn't too happy with Ben Yedder there. So Maxima. Gonna play it across to Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. Bardi. Left foot. We can do it with the left foot. It doesn't matter. We can do it with the left. We can do it with the right. Beautiful strike from Bardi. Cross coming in towards Soyunju. He's not gonna get to it. Or is he? He nearly got to it. Masuaku brings it across to the other side. I don't know why he just did that. Snodgrass still on it. Left footer, as far as I can remember. He's pushing it all the way back as well. West Ham rebuilding their attack here with great passing play. Callum Phillips trying to stop them. Are you kidding me? Ref. Come on, ref. You can't be freaking serious. Seriously, man. What the hell? How is that a pen? It literally just fell down. Ah, oh, get out. Oh. Guys, I just realized I'm playing with a goalkeeper. I need to play with an outfield player again. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? We already conceded. Ah, I forgot that about the last season's forfeit. Sorry about that, man. Actually, I should still do it because it's going to make the game tougher. So we conceded anyways. First shot, first goal. <sighs> who do I put in here? Someone uh, someone in the, in the comments said, I need someone with high reactions. <laughs> Douglas Luiz has 95 reactions. Hey, Douglas. Enjoy your debut as a goalkeeper. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He's coming into the game as a goalkeeper. Let's see him, though. Let's see him. Let's see him. How does he look? 
Two glass Louise. There he goes. 95 reactions. Hopefully that's going to help us, boys. Great run down the wings. Masuaku. Cross coming in. Jumping up. Not getting to it. Jumping up. Not getting to it. Losing the ball. And then we get it with Douglas Louise in goal. Well done, Douglas. We have space with Sanson. Sanson. Let's do it. Ah, it's a great save again. I felt like the defender was getting close, so I couldn't continue running. Bardi over to Brahim Diaz. Brahim. Oof. Completely outplayed there by the defender. Uh-oh. Yes, well done, Lala. No, Lala, what are you doing? Oh, what a save. No. <laughs> what are we doing here, man? That needs to be a clearance. Why am I doing fake shots inside the box? I'm such a tool. Oh, it's 2-0, guys. We're losing against West Ham. I really... It was the same against Leicester, wasn't it? We were 2-0 down and then we made the comeback. Let's see if we can make it happen again. Great ball in behind. Come on, right before half time, This would be clutch. This would be clutch. So, Maximal, you were coming close. Why did you turn back? He was coming close. That would have been perfect. So, Yunju, I'm looking for you at the near post. So, Yunju. There he goes. Jumps up. It's out of the corner. Another chance. I'm going to send everyone to the uh, far post. Then we're only going to have Soyunju here at the near post, I think. There he goes. He's jumping right in there. The punch. Benyeder, please. He doesn't get it. So Maxima gets it. He plays it across. He played to Acuna. And another corner comes in. Brahim. Our referee. Come on. I was about to cross it to the far post. First half is done. 2-0 down. Douglas Luis actually saved a good one there. But um, yeah, not looking too good right now. We're losing, boys. Oh, okay, that just made it look too easy. Okay. 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 Chill. 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 Chill, man. Ah, camera turned off as well. 3 0 down to West Ham. We're losing this. We're losing this, man. It's not even about the goalkeeper. It's just the defending for me. It's horrible. I, I can't get to the ball. Come on, let's make it 3 3. <laughs> Imagine. Ben Yedder. I see Bardi. Bardi. Now through. Go on. Yes! Alright! 3-1! Pick up the ball and just keep going. Let's keep... What? Why is he not picking up the ball? It's fine, though. Great attack. Really good attack. And it's Bardi making a beautiful run. Ben Yedder with an assist for himself. That's his second goal contribution. Well done, lads. Let's keep going. Can we actually make this comeback happen? Imagine. Imagine if we could pull this off. Be great. I would love it. Calvin. Now bringing it forward. Ennis. Here's Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. Good turn. Great turn, actually. Stops again. Cuts inside. Has the finish. <sighs> good, good finish. We'll take those. I think we're going to make some changes. Some players need to come off. Greenwood is going to come in for Ennis Bardi. And uh, Longstaff is going to come in for Sanson, I assume. Because we've already made change of uh, Douglas Luiz. So I might as well just put Douglas Luiz up front and bring in Calvin Phillips into the goal. Can't do it. Sick. Calvin Phillips asking for his run gonna bring it back to Greenwood. Greenwood, left foot. Come on, son. Oh, this Fabianski is insane. He's saving everything. So, Yunju, I'm looking for you, man. Or, I might be looking for Ben Yedder without knowing. Ben Yedder. Greenwood. Kenny Lala. We get taken out here. We get taken out, man. Too easy. Greenwood. Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. Turns. Still going. Still defenders on him. Ah, too easy. Let's use the wings a little bit more. Let's use the wings. Here goes. Long staff. Great ball into him. So Maxima. Making his great run in here. Ah, oh, what a horrible pass from Long Staff. I need to do much better with those attacks, man. I had many chances. I had many, many chances. Ben Yedder. Great turn. Left foot. Finesse. Fabianski again. Great steal by Kevin Phillips. Moving it on. Moving it onwards. Ben Yedder. There he goes. Great pass from Ennis. Good pass inside. And we missed the ball. Sick. Go on. And we lost it. That is it, boys. We have tried our best. 3-1 loss against West Ham. <sighs> Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all, man. I thought we could have done better. Unlucky. Really unlucky. Loss against West Ham. Even though we had 11 shots on target. Oh, my God. We were the better team, man. We were the better team when we lost 3-1. That sucks. Gertrudia has now been loaned out. That is okay for us. We needed him to go to get some uh, um, some experience somewhere else because obviously right now for us, he's not in a starting lineup. We still have 18 million to spend. 
And we have interest shown in Kamano. And we have an offer for Watts, uh, who is worth 440k. Gonna accept that straight away. Um, what do we do with the rest, with the remaining 18 million? I have to buy someone. Definitely have to spend it. We can't just leave, leave it there. And the question is, who do we spend it on? Do we use Kenny Lala in a deal to bring in a right back and then put the 18 million on top of it? That could be something we can do. Or do we do it with Sanson and bring in someone even better there? We're just waiting for Almiron to return. I do need a better winger. I don't have any wingers that are actually really good for the bench. Titaishvili is just pace. The man can't shoot. So I might just include Titaishvili in a deal and put 18 million on top of it to improve our bench in terms of wingers. We only have Brahim Diaz when we do bring back um, Almiron. So that might be something to do. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. So I'm going to go for the player that I originally wanted to go for. Come on. That's the one that we wanted. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Flare trait as well. So let's try and sign him this time around with the money that we have. Potentially not going to get him anyways, but we can try, right? That's what we can do. Uh, we can include, as I said, Titaishvili in this deal. I really don't mind letting him go because we, if we have... Um, there we go. Nice. If we have, what's his name? If we have Brahim Diaz and Coman on the bench for the wings, that's good enough for me. I don't need to touch really anymore. So we're going to counter offer here. And we're going to say, how about 6.5 mil plus to touch really? Let's make that deal happen. You get a 10% sell on clause as well if you want to. Come on now. Let's make it happen. There we go. Come on. Potentially joining the team. Nice. Let's, uh, let's sign the contract. Four year contract, rotation at uh, squad role in the team. No release clause, which is good. And then he wants 30k, which is totally fine with me. And after that, we will have 11.3 million in the budget, my friends. Coman has joined into the squad. Welcome. Ooh, what the hell is going on with his hair? That was a weird one. That was a bit glitchy, huh? It seems like he's a bit glitchy. Hopefully he isn't. I don't want to see that every game that we play him. But here we go. Titaishvili is gone and we have upgraded massively in my eyes because this guy can actually shoot. Titaishvili had 61 shooting. He has 73 shooting. He's a bit taller, a bit more physical. 84 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. Um, aggression is not that high. Composure is all right. Um, stamina is okay as a super sub. That's exactly what we need. Uh, we don't need more. His dribbling is good. His finishing is good. His shot power is good. So very happy with those things and the flare trait as well. A player that I've never used before. So I'm really excited to bring him in right now. He's coming in for the wings as a super sub. As soon as Almiron is back, Brahim, his position gets taken over as well. And you know what, Douglas Luiz? For now, you're going to play goalkeeper. Yep, that is actually happening. And straight after that transfer deal, we are going straight into a matchup against Brighton to redeem ourselves, to show that we can do better Douglas Luiz in goal. Now, the main thing that I'm going to focus on right here is to not concede, guys. Genuinely, that's the main thing I want to get done because I'm sick and tired of using an outfield player in goal. So hopefully against Brighton, we can pull that off. If I can score a goal, I'm genuinely going to hold on to the ball for the rest of the game. Do not expect me to go all out attacking. I'm just going to try my best in keeping a clean sheet. Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. Nicely done, mate. Ben Yedder gets it across to Brahim. Brahim. Go on, Brahim. Oh, what a finish. What a finish from Brahim Diaz. The Real Madrid talent gets it done on his left foot. The five-star weak foot he has. I don't know if left foot is actually a strong foot. It might be. But take a look at this finish right here. Cuts inside. Ben Yedder with another assist. That is his third goal contribution in his third game. Ben Yedder doing bits right now. Look at that. Look at that, the composure, the timing, the accuracy, just perfect. Let's go. And now we defend. Now we defend the hell out of this game. So here we go. Long ball, drop back, 5-4-1. That's the formation. Phillips goes into center back. I don't care if this seems too defensive to you. For me, it's all about winning this game with a clean sheet now. Boss coming in towards the far side. He tries a bicycle kick. Luckily, that's not going to work out for Brighton. Guys, if you're wondering what I've been doing this half... I'm legit just doing this. I'm just playing it from one side to the other. I am not. I am not losing this clean sheet. I'm sorry, but I need to get this done. I need to get this done for the rest of the season. If you want to get into the top six, we need a goalkeeper and goal. That's what it is. So I'm just going to be trying to hold on to possession for as much as, much as I can. Not giving any chances to our opponents. And if we have the 45th minute coming along and I have a chance to attack, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to take my sweet, sweet time. 
No! No, oh, Douglas Luiz! Oh, mate! He actually pulled it off! That is ridiculous! That is ridiculous! Get it away! Oh my god! How did he save that? Douglas Luiz with the 95 reactions! Oh my god, what a player! What a player! There we go! Two minutes of added time. We're gonna use that to our advantage. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in! Sa Maxima! Let's go! That's what I wanted! This is the tactic we wanted to imply, and it has worked! The kits are amazing, by the way. The away kits just look so good. I'm so happy. I am so happy. We're tuning up. Douglas Luiz made a ridiculous save, and it's looking good right now. The fans are booing. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I hope you can. They are booing, but I couldn't care less. I'm all about the dub, my friends. I'm all about the dub. You guys can boo as much as you want to. Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. Is he going to go for it? He's going to make it 3-0. I just went ahead and tried to score one more. And we have done it. Ben Ratter, as we like to call him. My man has now four goal contributions, if I'm not mistaken. Nice to see him get the assists. Nice to see him get the goals. A nice replacement of Kevin Folland for sure. Nice move around the defender and a quality strike to go along with it. Ben Yedder gets it done. Still plenty of time to play for here, guys. Let's stay um, alert. Free kick in the 70th minute. And Ispardi gets another chance. This time, no curve, no nothing. Just into the top right corner, boys. Green times. Oh, wow. How did he save that, man? Come on, 20 minutes to survive. 20 minutes to survive, my friends. Ben Yedder. By himself. Oh, he gets around. He shoots outside of the foot. Let's go. It's 4-0. Yo, this tactic is actually sick. We're sitting back, playing to the long, right to left, right to left. And what happens is, Ben Yedder is by himself with one defender. So because the whole team pushes forward from Brighton, because they're desperate to get the ball, Ben Yedder is just left by himself. And that is his third goal. Now... It's not necessary right now for me to score goals. Giving them back possession is a scary, scary thought. So please, let's get it back as fast as we can, guys. This is not what I want to see, Johnny. This is not what we want to see. Oh my God. Ooh. That just scared me, man. 84 minutes of hard work just thrown away in that second there. That's so silly. Stop scoring goals. Just keep on possession. Five more minutes until we are done with this misery. They are pushing hard. They are pushing hard, but you know it. You know it. Hold on to it. One more minute. One more minute and then I'm done. One more. Do I attack one last time? I think I do. No, I don't. It's done. The forfeit is finished. A 4-0 victory against Brighton, who after the first goal were pushing forward a lot, gave us spaces with Ben Yedder and got punished for it. A ridiculous game. Possibly the most control I have ever had over any of my opponents in FIFA. Let's take a look at this. 80% possession. Let's go, Newcastle. For once, we played like a world-class team, just taking our time. It's not really my play style. It's too boring, but we got it done. And Douglas Luiz made two saves. What a great goalkeeper. 95 reactions. Whoever said that with the reactions, you're a goat, man. Thank you so much for letting me know in the comments down below. And due to that, we have brought in Douglas Luiz and he has 95 reactions as he saved a couple. Nice stuff. Douglas Luiz getting praise for his performance in goal. <laughs> That's what we like to see, guys. That is what we like to see. We still have a few days left in the transfer window. Ooh, hold on. These are two very interesting transfer offers, guys. I'm accepting for Woodman. And I'm negotiating for Kenny Lala. I'm negotiating. If we sell Kenny Lala, we will have around, what, 23 million or something like that? Hmm, I don't know about this one. How about 16 million? 16 million for Kenny Lala. He's 28 years old. He's good. But we can improve upon that position, I think, with the money that we have right now. Let's ask for 15.5. Come on, 15.5. That would put us to 33 million. Yes! 15.5 million, guys. Kenny Lala and Woodman, if they both leave, we are looking at money. We are looking at good, good money. That we can then go ahead and spend 
on players in the January transfer window or in the in the transfer deadline day, and we get offer for Sanson. Now Sanson, ah, I don't know about this one. 20 million. I'm going to leave this to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Should we even go into the negotiations for Sanson or not do it? Let me know. He has been a very good player for us, so I don't quite know. It's not necessary that we sell him, but you will have to let me know in the comments down below what you think about that situation. I'm going to leave it at that with today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We've had a lot of fun on this one and I really enjoyed myself. So thank you guys so much. Also, the budget is not 18 million. It is 11 million. For some reason, it's glitching right now and I don't like it. So uh, let me change that right now immediately. We have 11.5 million left in the budget as far as I'm concerned. So uh, that should be the value that you see on your screen. There it is. 11.5 is what we have in the budget at the moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Have a great day. See you next time with Newcastle returning and pushing for that top six and going for even more transfers. Take care and peace.